I feel like this is the very first part of the allegations where it starts to get incredibly gross, with Meredith basically saying that Alex Pereira was detailing his intentions to go to the bathroom with her. Bruh. People want to be looking to Alex Pereira allegations? This is a UFC guy, right? Uh, which video should I be watching? On the Oliver. Is it or on the liver? Who is on the liver? What video? Why is this so hard to find? On the liver MMA bro. I don't know why it's not popping up. Okay. This channel? The Alex Pereira allegations full breakdown. When Tipster f***ed up, can you educate Destiny on the lore? I don't think he would even care, to be honest. He's, I feel like Tipster's not relevant enough for him to even give a Innocent until proven guilty. That is the way I am going to approach these allegations being thrown at Based. Alex Pereira because- Based motto, right from the get-go. I like what I'm hearing. Model, Meredith G. Brown has accused Alex Pereira, the former middleweight champion of the UFC, and the current light heavyweight champion of the UFC, of- and given the serious nature of this video, just like my Rampage Jackson one, this will not be monetized. However, let's just make it very, very clear that these are just allegations. But you might be wondering, what so is- So many of these YouTube clickbait videos, I'm not talking about this guy, I'm talking about the last video we just watched, but yes, dude, there's so many. It's so easy to be a commentary channel right now and blow up off of just straight up slander. And it's it, it like, I hate these people, man. I, I hate them. Their careers will burn bright and fast. Nobody will give a f about them in not too long. But yeah, I hate it. Yeah, the nano lunch and after party. Nice meeting you, buddy. Hope you're doing good. Is the entire thing surrounding these allegations? What is Meredith G. Brown saying? What is her account? Who are her alibis? Right. What is her proof? Well, let's jump into that right now. On August 4th, 2024, Meredith... Why did the audio immediately get so... G. Brown posted this video on her TikTok. Yes, he's a big Yes, he's a light heavyweight champion, father, and a predator that likes to r girls in the ass. Whoa. Big clan meet Alex Pereira. Okay. And from the caption, you can see that she accuses Alex Pereira of r And in the description, it reads, uh, It took me a while to find the courage to come out and say this, but I've been struggling so much with my mental health and I can barely get out of bed these days. It's eating me alive keeping it inside and not talking about it because I'm scared, but I'm hoping this will help me heal and not feel so alone. I know some people won't believe me and think I'm chasing clout, quote unquote, but I just want to feel normal again. And I'm hoping maybe me finding the courage to tell my story is the first step in that direction. If any other women have experienced this, I'm so sorry. You're not alone, and I hope that this helps you find your voice again, too. And right off the bat, this is a very serious allegation, and the only photo of proof that she shows is a photo she took with Alex Pereira when he was in New Jersey watching UFC 302. And for reference, the date at that time was June 2nd, 2024. And of course, when asked to elaborate in the comment sections by some of the viewers, she came out with three lengthy videos detailing her experience with Alex Pereira, allegedly. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to play every single one of those videos, put some commentary in between, and just cut it a little bit to save time. Alex Pereira's assistant, translator. I don't know who he is to him. His name is Mel. My friend followed him on Instagram over two months ago. He DMs her after she follows him, asks her questions like how long she had been doing kickboxing for, how she got into it, stuff like that. He asks her if she's going to the fight in New Jersey that we went to. I don't know what number it was. Now, immediately right off the bat, you're going to notice a lack of warrants in this video, and that is pretty much something that goes on for the entirety of those three videos. Uh, the only proof that she has throughout this entire thing uh, is not just her word of mouth, but also that one photo that she has with Alex Pereira. Yeah, I mean, part of the problem with this kind of thing is like, you know, you don't want to shit on somebody who's a potential victim because, you know, it, it, it could have happened. And for something like that's, you know, an in-person thing, it's kind of hard to have evidence for that, right? Like it, it can be. But at the same time, from a public perspective, to accuse someone else of being a you need a lot, right? You need a lot. And like... You know, random TikTok commenters can say whatever they want, but when you're, you know, a YouTuber with a platform, you need to have the proper proof to say that something happened definitively. And if you don't, you open yourself up to legal liability. So, like, we're going to have to have some some proof that this went down the way it did. I really wish this girl had just, like, posted those DMs at the very least, at the very least here, because that would have helped her case so much. But she goes on to detail the fact. She deleted her Instagram. She's donezo. Well... To be clear, I'm not making a case one way or the other, but just because she deleted her Instagram doesn't mean she lied. Um, it may mean she lied, 
or maybe she told the truth and got harassed off the internet. It could be either. So you just have to keep that in mind. She doesn't. She's not necessarily lying here. Okay, but I don't know that she's telling the truth either. So as this as this guy said, innocent until proven guilty for Alex Pereira. Like that she has DMs, she has videos, and she has photos, and yet none of those have been publicly released by her which is a detail I want to point out. I'm not into it like that, like she is. I, I, this was my first time ever meeting Alex or knowing who he was. I'm not a huge UFC fan. I just got into it because my friend was into it. Alex's assistant, translator, asks my friend if she wants to meet up with him in New Jersey when she goes to the fight. He also... He's a translator. Does he not speak English? He's Brazilian. Can Alex Pereira speak English? He's not learned to speak fluent English. Oh, says that Alex is wondering if she has a friend for him. I know it sounds stupid and unbelievable because I couldn't believe it myself. Why is this guy asking a 20 year old girl to put him on with one of her friends? Well, to, to, to f him, right? That would be the, the reasoning. To f when he's a. 30 year old however father how old is he age he's 37 okay 37 uh or wants to f a 20 year old according to this girl who should be able to just like talk to a woman his age at the fight it was apparently there's leaked dms of her saying it was all for exposure for her of i highly doubt it it's possible at the very least it seems like from how she's talking and this is totally anecdotal she seems like she thinks she's being honest at the very least now i don't know what the situation is here but it seems like she thinks she's being honest here at the very least. If those DMs exist, that's insane, but I would like to see those. Planned out on purpose because he does this all the time. All right, so this was a part of the story that I thought was a little bit far-fetched and also relatively confusing. So she goes on to comment about Alex Pereira's age. Now, look, Alex Pereira is 37 years of age, and Meredith G. Brown claims that she is 20 years old, which I don't know if that's the exact number, but I feel like she's trying to make the point that the age gap is really creepy, despite the fact that both of them literally met when they were grown adults. It wasn't like Meredith was that's fresh true. off of her 18th birthday. She was an established 20-year-old woman with an OnlyFans account. And then there's also another- I mean, She's probably got a car, making her own money. Like, this is not- this is not a child, right? Till that she points out, where she basically says that Alex Pereira plans this all the time, which I don't know where she got that from. I don't know if- Plans what? Like to have sex or to-, to What is she saying? Or he's just, he's just, he's lining up girls to I mean, you can, if both adults are consenting, you can them, right? Like I- that's what the translator said. She doesn't make it very clear in this video, but if that wasn't the case, I wanna ask, how does she know that information? Where did she get that? Because as far as we know, that's baseless. We can't work off of that. That's just a nothing burger of a statement. My friend sends Mel, she sends him my Instagram. Mel shows Alex my Instagram. Apparently the only thing he said was Chama. I'll try and find the text proof where my friend was telling me this. You see, I wish you could have- What does Chama mean in Portuguese? Flame? So like he's saying she's, she's fire, she's hot is what he's saying? Done that before you made this video because I feel like this video, if these allegations are true, are just a very quick emotional response and that's not good. As soon as you get all the information, you have to make a concise, carefully crafted allegation that isn't just based off of he said, she said. Especially if you want to help other victims, because ultimately, if you make an allegation without proof, right, without proper proof, then what you're going to do is people are going to call you a liar, right? They're going to call you a piece of a liar. And not only that, but if there are actual real victims involved, you know, like this girl potentially or other people, you're going to prevent anyone from being able to come forward about that because the first allegation is going to be instantly discredited. That's we go to New Jersey. Mel hits up my friend, invites us both to a private training at a gym called Cruise MMA, where Alex is training. We're the only women in there except for this older woman who's married to one of the people that's also f sparring. I'm hoping I can find security footage. My friend spars with him. I videotape the whole time and I'm sitting down. She's got to report this to the police, man. You got it. You got to take it to the cops. Watching. I can post the video that I took also where my friend is sparring with him. Him and Mel take me and my friend outside of the gym that we were in after the training session. He comes on to me, goes behind me, looks at my ass, 
approves to his translator, which is also disgusting now that I know what his intent was, like I was cattle or something. Mind you, this man doesn't speak any English. I don't know what he's saying the entire time. His translator is translating for me everything he's saying and everything I'm saying. He tries to kiss me outside of Cruz MMA gym. I grab his face and I push him away. I will try to find security footage from a building around it if possible. His assistant and translator, Mel, brings us- Well, she went along with it. I mean, she's not saying she went along with it. I don't want a victim blame here. If she didn't intend on sleeping with him and she knew his intention beforehand, she shouldn't have gone there. That's not an excuse for him to- her or or her without consent obviously that's not right like if, if he did that that's that's horrible like just because you meet up with someone for the purpose of having sex doesn't mean that one person has a right to just go gorilla mode on you and fuck you right that's not what that means if you meet up to have sex and then that person when you meet up says i actually don't want to have sex you can't just fuck them right you can't but the, the main problem here is like there's just no proof of what's happening or what's being accused here, right, for me. ...into this fancy hotel. I can find security footage proof of this also. And it's just a bunch of like UFC people sitting in a circle. And Alex looks up at us, looks angry as f and tells his assistant Mel to take us out of the hotel. And everyone is looking at us like, who are these girls? Why are they here? I don't know either. I I'm just like there because they asked us to and like... I didn't realize they were bad people. I feel like this is maybe thinking in retrospect, but at the same time, if this is all true, what didn't give you the impression that hanging around with Alex Pereira wouldn't be safe? If he did make that comment about your ass and did try to kiss you, really? Like, what made you comfortable around this guy if this was the case? And she also mentions trying to find security footage, which I think is a step in the right direction. If true. she's able to get most of this stuff out into the public and this is true, then... I mean, the, the main thing is they're like, okay, so you can't criticize her. Let's, let's say all this happened. Let's say she did get okay? Let's say hypothetically. Obviously, even if she went there with the intention of having sex, but he then, like, is forced with her... And he, you know, doesn't respect her boundaries. And he, you know, is like, I'm just going to fuck you. And she can't even communicate him. She doesn't want to. And he goes gorilla mode on her. And she's saying, no, stop. Like, that is still right. It's still even if she went there with the intention of having sex with him. If she then revokes that consent before it happens or during it happening, and he doesn't stop. That's still right. But I don't have any proof that that happened. Right. Like, I don't have any proof that that happened. So that's the main problem here. And this will do her a whole lot of justice. But at the same time, if she can't find anything, then all the public knows is that she tried to find CCTV footage and yet she never found it slash never put it out to the public. And with everything else that's provided as proof in this moment or that could be provided as proof on her end, this whole situation could really just turn into a whole big nothing. The translation is wrong. Chama can mean flame, but in context, it would mean call me. So it would mean me chama baby equals call me baby. Okay, gotcha. Burger. He makes us leave the hotel and he brings us to the courtyard Marriott across the street from it. They have two hotel rooms that they have already bought um, for that night, which is disgusting. It was all planned out. They take us to the court. Because he was planning on having sex with you? Is that why it's disgusting? I area across the street from the actual hotel that Alk is staying at. Mel asks us how old we are. I said I'm 21. My friend says that she's 20 years old, not old enough to drink alcohol. So he talks to Alex, tells him how old we say we are, and then they buy us, I think, two glasses of wine. So mind you, they're buying alcohol for a 20 year old girl that is not old enough to drink alcohol, and this is on security footage didn't make me sign an nda before he did any of this like just did it because he does thank you for coming remember elena elena does this all the time probably it was so routine and planned out now the first part details the crime of providing alcohol for somebody under the age which if you don't know the drinking age in america is 21 which is another big allegation but again we need that cctv footage but then she really goes on this more i want to say emotional rant about alex Pereira probably doing this all the time which i think what she meant was it was just incredibly methodical in his approach and i feel like even if these allegations are proven to be true uh these kind of emotional statements from meredith right here are not going to do her any i agree that being said i don't really care if she's being emotional like because is emotional like it's kind of hard to hide that if you get 
right? It's kind of hard to hide how you feel about it. Like, I think it's fine to be emotional. The main problem is just, if you want people to believe this allegation, you're gonna need to provide some proof. And I, I haven't seen any. Good. Like, for example, if they bring every single allegation Meredith has into court, then that one in particular could really get her into some trouble. They're giving us drinks. Alex won't get off of me. I'm not into it because I don't know this man. I don't like being touched if I am not, like, if I don't know you and I'm not comfortable with you. Even if you're my family member, I just don't like being touched. I'm starting to get... I honestly don't care about 20 year olds drinking alcohol. However, it does mean that he could be trying to lower inhibitions for sex. So that's something to note. I want to be fair. Yes, that is absolutely something to know. I agree. And, con and like alone giving alcohol to a 20 year old, is that necessarily a horrible thing? No, I don't think so. Uh, but if he was doing it to like ply her with alcohol to make her more malleable for whatever he wants to do, that is obviously horrible. But once again, the, the main problem is I just don't know if that happened. You know, I don't know if that went down tipsy and I feel sick because I don't do well when I drink <sighs> but I'm trying to calm my nerves he won't get off of me he keeps asking me to go to the bathroom with him or he's asking Mel and Mel is telling me this so I guess this is how he gets away with it because he didn't technically well no because he did it he just technically didn't say any of it to my face he said it through his translator and his translator said it to my face but his translator wasn't the one who assaulted me I feel like this is the very first part of the allegations where it starts to get incredibly gross with meredith basically saying that alex Pereira was detailing his intentions to go to the bathroom with her but what i do find kind of weird is that she just kind of switches up the story uh between alex Pereira talking to her directly to alex Pereira being like just you know going over to his translator to say hey ask her if i can take her to the bathroom and i feel like if meredith had already previously stated her discomfort then that's completely disgusting but for the love of god we need to see the CCTV footage. He's telling us. Yeah, I mean, if she is telling the proof, I think you're telling the truth. I think the biggest thing you can criticize her on is like, she makes a public allegation, right? And has zero proof for it. Zero, zero, zero proof at all, which is the main problem. Captain C says, so she gets invited to this gym with her friend to meet this guy. He makes his comment, then tries to kiss her. She stops him, then goes to a hotel with the assistant and him, and then proceeds to drink with the person she previously rejected. Well, okay. You can criticize her for being dumb or naive. Yes, undoubtedly. But assuming this is what she's saying is true, it still could be like just because someone tries to kiss you and you say no, but then you hang out with them doesn't doesn't give that person full reign to just like get on top. You'd be like, I'm you now. Like you'll you still need her to say yes before you fuck her, right? Translator to ask me to go to the bathroom with him. I'm telling him no because I don't do that. I, I get uncomfortable and nervous. And as much as you guys think that I'm this like, I don't know what I'm allowed to say on TikTok. As much as you guys think these things about me just because of the line of work that I do. I just do what I have to do to make ends meet. That has nothing to do with anything. I don't put out the first time meeting somebody because I have a lot of trauma and I get nervous and scared. I will try to find security footage. Legally, they have to be able to pull this up, right? Like Alex can't like somehow like get it erased. That would literally not be fair. I'm going to try my hardest to find the security footage. Fake crying? I don't think it's fake crying. If it actually ends up, like, going I don't think she's faking it. I think she thinks something bad happened to her. The question is just, does she have proof? And, like, should I believe it, you know? Like, this is my question. Me, personally, I think this is bull. One, why not file a police report? That's a good point. She should. Two, it's well known Alex is sober and him never speaking English or suddenly knowing how to say, let me slip it in. Three, she says she's not into UFC, but also had a video of her in the crowd at 299 with her tatas out. Well, you cannot be in the UFC and still go, so I don't think that's really a good point. Or, like, something happens. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I just posted it because I, like, it, I just wanted to talk about it. I go to the bathroom with my friend after Alex has been... To be been clear, just because you don't file a police report doesn't mean that you're lying. A lot of girls don't report it to the police, and it can still happen. Should you? Yes, you should report it to the police, obviously. Hard disagree with Tom. Why do you disagree with me? Coming on to me the whole night and I feel sick and- There's some fake crying. The thing is, I don't, I can't, I don't know if it's fake crying. Like, I'm just watching her on my screen, you know? I don't know if it's fake crying. Uncomfortable and like I'm about to throw up. I tell her in the bathroom at no point during this whole entire visit with these people are you to leave me because I'm not comfortable. We agree that we won't leave each other at any point because Mel, the assistant and the translator is also hitting on my friend who's 20 years old. I don't know how old this man was. I'm trying to tell- 
I take your not covering Mr. T Lexify. I watched some of it on stream. I just was like, it's really cringe. That's all I saw, but maybe I'll look later. I don't know. Alex's assistant to tell Alex that I don't put out. She's 20 years old. No, oh, she's an adult. How horrible. Like that after I meet someone for the very first time, and then I need him to get to know me and to work for it. I quote, said to his translator, trying not to be a prude and annoying, but I told him, I was like, how do I say you have to work for it? Maybe I'm just not getting the entire situation, but I don't understand why, if you were uncomfortable in the first place, why are you entertaining a potential sexual relationship in the future with Alex Pereira? Well, just because you don't want to... Some of the points in this video are good, like especially with the lack of proof. Some of them are bad. Like Just because you don't want to have sex with someone right now doesn't mean you might not if you get to know them better, right? That's kind of dumb. She definitely should have left the situation entirely considering that, you know, he was clearly interested in just her and she wasn't interested in that. She wanted, like, a long-term thing where he's, like, rizzing her constantly, right? She should have left, but, like, she that doesn't destroy the potential that a rape happened, right? For me, from my perspective, it's like I still need proof. I still need 1,000% proof to know that he did that, right? But, like, it's, it's possible it happened, I guess. But I just, you know, I can't accuse someone of that without proof, right? In this statement i mean he's been making you very uncomfortable with these very forward advancements allegedly so in other words why would he have to work for it his assistant laughs tells alex and alex tells his assistant to tell okay smagla sent me this on twitter let's see if i can bring this up he said there's a not safe for work image in the second tweet we'll just pull up this image let's see here nice fake allegations hope your failed of career produced enough money for defense lawyers she puts a laugh she says, the money I'm making from all the exposures of my adult will pay well for them. Is that a real DM? Is this a real... Is this real? Is this from her story? Is this real? What the f***? What the f***? I mean, this could be a fake DM, but if that's real, that's like... What? That's like... What the f***? What the hell? If that DM is real, that is insane. It's If that DM is real, it's actually over for her, bro. Tell us that he really likes us and he's going to take us on a trip to the Dominican Republic to get to know us better because I guess he's trying to like convince me that he's not, you know, just trying to take advantage of me. So I'm like, okay, like, that's great. I don't have a passport. Like, can you like, let me know like when this is happening so I can like pack and like get ready for it. Like, I mean, I make my own money and I don't need this man's money. This was, it's not me trying to get his money. I literally could not. It could be she meant it in a coping way. I mean, I guess when somebody messages you being like, you're falsely accusing someone and you're like bragging about the fact that you're getting a bunch of exposure off of it. Like, come on, bro. Care less if I don't get anything out of this except for to find my own voice again. I just wanted to talk about my story. I was not expecting his fans to be as bad as he is, but... I guess I should have known. And with this point that she brings up at the end of this statement, I'd actually have to kind of agree that the fans are pretty disgusting when approaching the situation, especially considering the fact that we hardly know anything about it. And and they're basically spamming in the comments that Jesus Christ. she deserves it and supporting Alex Pereira. That is disgusting. For doing this, even though it's funny, but it's disgusting. they don't know that this even happened in the first place. Uh, they're basically just condoning and these comments have thousands of likes, so take it as you will. Uh, that in itself, whether- Is there a reason she couldn't just leave? Um, no, I think she probably could have just left if she wanted to. Whether this allegation is true or not- I don't, I don't, I don't know if that DM is real, says something. To, be, to be clear, I, that DM could be fake. It just seems, it seems so convenient that she would just be like, this one would be like, nice fake, false allegations, hope your failed OF career produced enough money for defense lawyers. Like, the, the idea that she would just- knowingly respond to that with this saying the money i'm making for all the exposure of my elf will pay well for them that is an insane thing to say bro what the f if she actually said that that's horrible gotta verify that dm yeah i don't want to say that dm is real without knowing but it just seems too too like good to be true you know what i mean it seems so nuts about a lot of people in this community and it's just really disgusting to see we have to split up because it's time to go to the ufc fight his translator and alex go on their own <laughs> me and my friend take an uber it goes terribly, the fight ends. Afterwards, his assistant Mel sends an Uber to our location after the UFC fight and brings us back to the courtyard courtyard Marriott where we were gonna go out. He was gonna we were gonna go there and they were gonna drive us 
and they were talking about going to I don't know. They were talking about going to strip clubs. And I don't really know how to work off of the strip club thing as that's just another baseless accusation and really means nothing legally. So we're just going to move on to the second video where she mostly talks about the picture that was taken between her and Alex Pereira and claiming that it wasn't her going up to Alex Pereira for the picture. It was Alex Pereira going up to get the picture with her. Let's play the clip real quick. Just to be clear also, that picture that I posted where everyone is saying that it looks like I'm a fan that asked him to take a picture with me, I did not ask for that picture. I asked for no pictures. I didn't know who this man was. My friend asked for pictures with him after asking me to record her sparring with him. And then he asked on everyone that I know and loves life, he asked for pictures with me. I did not ask for those pictures. He asked his assistant to ask my friend after we took, after he asked to take the pictures, he asked his assistant to ask my friend to have me send the pictures to her and then she sends it. Unlikely weird story. I mean, it could be true, but I just don't know. Tom putting faith in this girl is making me die and laugh so hard. Dude, the thing is like, once again, I just have to, I have to analyze the allegations like regardless of who is making it, right? Just because, just because I don't love, you know, a lot of OnlyFans girls, to say the least, doesn't mean that she's lying, you know. What I will say is that if that DM is real, you know, <laughs> then it's over. If that DM is real, then it's over. But I don't know if it's real, you know. That's the main thing. I have to be fair with every allegation, okay? I do. This is how I've been with everything that I've tried to cover. You got to be fair. It ...to my assistant because he wanted the pictures. Because it was probably a trophy for him. What? All right, this doesn't... Real talk, though, I don't doubt 90%, just I don't know about force. Okay. ...really make any sense, and I really don't know how to comment on this, either than this is another baseless accusation. And all I'm going to say here is this might be very difficult for her to navigate legally, especially considering the mass amount of baseless accusations. Yeah, that's the main, the main problem here, once again, is just lack of any proof whatsoever for any of it right like she posted all of these videos and doesn't have a single screenshot even verifying the lesser claims about like him dming her friend or like where they met or like the timeline to at least confirm some of the story like she doesn't even have any of that she's put out there against alex Pereira. if you're someone who has been sexually assaulted in the past and wants to come out with these specific allegations please do yourself a favor and don't throw out these weird baseless accusations that really contribute nothing to the overall narrative provide evidence provide warrants i've already gone on this rant before in this video but you guys get what i mean these situations really need to be handled delicately I did and first and foremost by the cops did not ask for those pictures that's besides the point but Basically, his assistant said- Look, if you're going to make a allegation, false or not, you know, at least make a concise video explaining it, okay? Maybe these people don't know how the internet works or how, like, innocent until proven guilty works, but I'm not going to be able to believe this girl without any proof, you know? Sends us an Uber yeah, to where that we is are wild. after the UFC fight and brings us back to the courtyard Marriott where we were supposed to be waiting for Alex to get back from an interview, I think he said. And then we were going to go out. He was talking about going to strip clubs and like having a fun night while we were all in New Jersey, New York for the weekend. We wait for like two hours for Alex to come while his friend is on the phone talking about like kids with cancer and big money transfers and things that had to do with Alex. And we were like, hey, it's getting kind of late. Like, is Alex coming? Like, what's the plan? Should we just go back home? Because we're kind of tired. Like, if we're going to have plans, can we like get on with it? Because it's already getting very late. At this point, I think it was like two or three in the morning. <sighs> I mean, he's a world famous UFC ch fighter. Like, I don't know what you expect. I think you should have just gone home Eventually, at that point. Alex comes to the hotel room after the interview that he was at. And he says that he doesn't want to go out. He wants to enjoy the time that he has with the people he's with. Some like that. And then he takes off his clothes, gets into bed, orders food and then is trying to get me to get into bed with him. My friend and me and- Okay, I, I am gonna say at that point, if she didn't wanna f him, why did she not just leave? The translator are all sitting on the couch and he's just sitting in bed staring at me and telling his translator to tell me things and trying to convince me to get into bed with him. I eventually get into bed with him because I was naive, I guess. I didn't think that anything was gonna happen. You got into bed with a naked guy and didn't think anything was going to happen? 
you got into bed with a, a guy who's naked. Once again, I'm trying. I'm not victim blaming here. If if she said no at any point, he kept going. It's still. But you, he's naked in bed, and you got into bed with him thinking nothing would happen. I just like the stupidity here is off the charts. That's another very confusing part of the story because number one, uh, you're a star. You know the ins and outs of sexual advances. Number two. Why would you just climb onto his bed even though he's already been relatively creepy to you? And number three, how are you naive? How can you possibly cite naivety when you're not only in- Like he, she tried to kiss you, he looked at your ass and said it was flame. Like she's in, she's in, he's in bed naked and she, like, I, I just don't, I, I, I really am having a hard time with this one, bro. Fans model. But also, if we go back to, I believe, the first video, you detail your past sexual traumas. Now, given she might have meant something else, but I feel like when approaching this situation, she really should have used a better word than naive. My friend was there with me. I had told her not to leave me at any point. She had told me not to leave her with the assistant at any point. I thought that we were going to be fine. I thought I was going to be able to maybe try and get myself comfortable by getting into bed with I him. Just, I'm sorry, I can't get over this. You got into bed with a naked guy and thought he didn't want to have sex with you. I just like, I, if I'm naked around any girl, I'm assuming that girl wants to f right? Like, I, I don't understand. Skibbity toilet's all we have, true. And cuddling with him, if there was people in the room, I just have problems of my own i have trauma this is not the first time that this has happened to me i it's just naive i guess i i don't know what i was thinking i don't know why i got into bed with him so not only do you get into bed man if, if there are any real allegations against alex Pereira, if he did actually do anything this girl is doing such a bad job by just like completely discrediting any future chance anyone has because now they're all just gonna look man they're all gonna look fake jesus christ with him you also start cuddling him which given that's still no excuse for but at the same time everything is slowly starting to fall apart in this story this guy was being creepy with you oh so i'm just gonna go up and cuddle with him in bed even though he creepily tried to yeah once again like this is just it's so stupid it's sad because it's just a bad video with no proof not only that but her story is like it doesn't it's not even making sense like this the story at this point he's like it, my, my mind is melting. Do the sexual advances onto me. No, that doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go up and cuddle with him. Even though, on your account, he was a stranger to you before you guys had met on his trip. My friend was there. So was the assistant. I thought I was gonna be fine. He starts- Has your friend said anything about this? I'd be super curious if anybody else has corroborated this story. Touching me down there repeatedly. I keep pushing him off. I keep pushing his hand off. I keep bringing his hand back up to like my, my waist so that we can just like cuddle because I'm comfortable with cuddling. I'm not comfortable with putting out with somebody that I don't know. I just met literally for the first time. He's huge, scary, doesn't speak any of my language. And I wasn't comfortable putting out with him because that's just not what I do. He keeps touching me. I keep pushing him off. Eventually, me and my friend to say that we're very tired and we would like to go to sleep. They turn all the lights off. My friend and the assistant get into bed. It's a queen size bed that they get into. I'm in a queen size bed right next. They're planning to f in the same room. And remember, I had everything. What happened to him was talk about that. He still posts, just not as much. He's still around. I met him once in um, Toronto with uh, your movie sucks. He's a nice dude. So it with um, Alex. Me and my friend are on the inside of the bed looking at each other under the blankets he keeps pulling the blanket over me keeps trying to touch me i feel suffocated i feel uncomfortable i don't know what to do i've pushed him off so many times at this point and he's not taking the hint and these men are clearly not caring about my comfortability mind you again i, I don't know what i was thinking i was naive i guess i i guess you could say naive doesn't even begin to describe it i asked for it by getting into bed with him i didn't know that this was gonna happen I'm pushing him off of me. He won't get off. He eventually pulls my underwear and my pants down to around like halfway on my thighs and I push him off again. He gets out of bed. He starts screaming and putting his socks and his clothes on. I'm terrified because I don't know what's happening. My pants are around my legs and after I told him no and pushed him off and he's screaming in another language. Me and my friend are looking at each other hiding under the blankets like about to start bawling our eyes out. And he starts telling his um, translator that he doesn't want to sleep in the same room with him and my friend and that he wants them to leave. So he didn't you? His translator and my friend leave the hotel room. 
his translator and my friend leave the hotel room. He immediately starts trying to take my clothes off. He starts trying to take my socks off. I try to tell him no because I have blisters on my feet from walking around New York in heels for like 10 hours the night before. And I had band-aids on my blisters and they were going to get ripped off with my socks. I tried to explain to him, don't take my socks off, please. He didn't understand that. So at that point, I'm like, okay, f- I've, I'm in a room with a huge man that doesn't speak English. He's not understanding what I'm saying. He doesn't give a f- because I've pushed him off so many times and he doesn't care. And he like got up and screamed and scared me into staying in the room with him and making his assistant and my friend leave the room. <sighs> At this point, I know what's happening. I've been through this before. I know that it's just easiest if I just shut my mouth, d- do what I have to, put on whatever performance that I have to to make it end. He puts me on top of him so that we're, I don't know how much of this I'm allowed to say on TikTok. He puts me on top of him so that we're 69ing. I think that it's just gonna be like normal, like he, I, he just pressured me into having sex and he scared me into having sex with him it's whatever like it's nothing that hasn't happened to me before like i'll just you know keep it inside like i usually do and just live with it he starts using multiple of his fingers forcefully pushing them into my ass i don't know if i'm allowed to say this or not Everybody's in the butt for an explanation so here it is This is literally just the truth. It's disgusting and embarrassing, and I've tried to make this video so many times, and I keep crying, and I just feel disgusting and humiliated and violated, and I know people are going to laugh at me, and people are going to say that I deserved it and think that it's funny what I'm about to say. You can laugh. It's whatever. And like, I just thought this would help me heal by talking about it. There's just, there's no proof, though. Like, there's there's no proof. I guess it, it could have happened. It's possible. Her story doesn't really make sense to me at this point. It seems kind of, but I just don't understand what's going on here. Like I, it doesn't. This doesn't make sense. Like you got into bed with a naked dude and didn't think he wanted to have sex with you. I just don't understand. And he put his fingers in your butt, according to you. I maybe that did happen. It's possible. Maybe he's an ass guy, but I don't know, man. He's basically fisting my ass at this point you have to be i'd say you probably have to be a, a six foot five man to rape me probably anything under that i think it would be un, i would be unrapeable okay i would not allow my i would not allow myself to be especially by a girl what by a girl cringe um it hurts really bad and i'm blacking out and disassociating and like just trying not to be there while it's happening before his assistant had left the room i had it would have to be alex Pereira. how big is he alex Pereira. oh he's six four yeah he could probably do it to be honest i think it would be over for me if he really wanted it if he wanted to stick his fingers in my butt i'd have a hard time getting away with that especially with his combat skills he'd do that ufc where he like gets his legs up he'd like get me in a leg lock give me one of those guys with like the 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 and then he'd just be like It would be quite difficult otherwise, I think. I don't think I could ever be raped by a woman, to be honest, unless I was, like, drugged. I think it would be quite difficult. I told him to please tell Alex that I was very nervous. I don't put out on the first time meeting somebody like that. Please emphasize to Alex that I'm very nervous. I haven't had sex with a lot of people. I have a lot of sexual trauma. I, I freeze up in the moment, and I am not able to have sex with people like that when I first meet them, and I told him... A Cheeto could. <laughs> a Cheeto would never do that, but also, listen, chat. A Cheeto may be tall, but he's not a beast like me, okay? I think I weigh the same as a Cheeto, and he's like 6'6", six, six, so I don't, it's it's impossible, okay? It's impossible. He's like a, he's like a large spider, and I'm like, uh, I'm like an average-sized beetle, okay? That's the situation there. I told his translator to tell him that. <laughs> If she was coerced into this situation where she had to have sex with Alex Pereira, it- is she a prostitute? No, she's an OnlyFans girl, which, I mean, people will say it's a prostitute, but she's not someone who has sex for money in a literal sense. It is absolutely 100%. Uh. But this is only the first part of this alleged incident, and I'm going to play the very last video she put out detailing this incident. Hey, pick- All right, last video of the butt allegations. Me up from off of on top of him. Asks me the only time he spoke English. Proof? Like, what the f- kind of allegation is this? Get your together. 
So when I asked for proof, this is what she said. This entire time that I was with him was to ask me to help him put it in. I tried to put it in, but I was nervous. So I couldn't. So he did it and he put it in my ass and then he me. Afterwards, he got up, he took a shower. I laid in bed, just kind of like disassociated, not even really like realizing. I, I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 possible, but without without proof, I don't really know. Also, I get I get she's like scared of this six foot four, you know, beast MMA fighter. That makes sense. But you helped him put it in. I don't know. I just I jeez, I, I don't know. There's not enough here to make a real judgment, right? Like, I, I don't want to say she's lying, but I don't have any proof she's telling the truth either. So in terms of Alex Pereira, I think I must say innocent until proven guilty. And at this point, I have to say he's innocent. What had just happened? I'm scared as f and I don't know if I can use the shower and I'm scared to ask him. So I just go to the bathroom and I sit on the toilet for a few minutes while I literally bleed. I come back to bed at out of your ass? After going to the bathroom, he kisses me on the forehead and he spoons me to sleep. I don't, I just, I'm not really convinced so far, to be honest with you. Like, I just don't really, I don't really understand what the f*** is going on. His translator and my friend came in the next morning, woke us up, I get dressed, they get us an Uber. We go back to our hotel, pack up our stuff, and that was, that's it. That's what happened. I, I don't really know what else to say, and I don't really like expect everybody to believe me and I, I knew that nobody was gonna to be honest you can't really expect anyone to believe you right now i think if she provided proof the youtube coverage would be a lot different obviously there's still be comments being like that's my goat you know w but like if there's proof or at least there's proof but there's there's not right now i don't even know if this happened believe me just based off of that tiktok that i posted i guess i just wasn't expecting as many <laughs> threatening comments. Now, the internet's response to these allegations have been overwhelmingly negative. Given the fact that Meredith has a background in OnlyFans, they were led to the conclusion that this was all a scheme to promote her OnlyFans because the very first thing you see when you click on, for example, her Twitter page is that to talk with her, you have to join her OnlyFans. But I'm pretty sure that's just in the business model for her and really doesn't have much to do with this situation or at least i can only think so i feel like at this point in time alex Pereira does not need to respond given the lack of evidence yeah he's not going to given there's no proof right whether he did or didn't do it there's going to be no response because there's, there's there's no proof there's absolutely no proof for any of this so i don't know i see crying girl on stream i kind of feel bad for her but like i don't know if this happened brought up against him but meredith did mention a lot of the time trying to find cctv footage have there ever been previous allegations against alex Pereira? has anyone in the past ever said this distractify because this is only the same information this is the same information we just saw basically many responses to her video series expressed disbelief at her story accusing her of lying for clout or somehow to make money of the situation one man wrote, bills cannot be this high. Others are trying to debunk her story by stating facts about the fighter that on the surface may contradict some of what she's saying. Quote, Alex doesn't drink alcohol anymore. He's sober. Well, just because just because you think he doesn't drink anymore doesn't mean he does not. A lot of, you know, the thing with alcoholics is always that they could be lying and they could still be drinking. Now, I don't know that Alex is. There's no proof of that. But, you know, that's not a great argument. Another said Alex's translator is Plino Cruz. One despicable comment left by an anonymous user said the double champ does what the he wants oh my god so this is them together it took me a while to find the courage to come out and say this but i've been struggling so much with my mental health and i can barely get out of bed these days it's eating me alive keeping it inside and not talking about it because i'm scared but i'm hoping this will help me heal so not feel alone i know some people won't believe me and think i'm chasing clout and stuff like that i just want to feel normal again i don't know i feel like i just once again i'm, I'm gonna need i'm gonna need proof to believe this allegation against some super with, famous guy with her and alex Pereira in it and if she really was or at right. the very least, like, some kind of pattern of behavior should be established. I would like to see that, you know? Then Like, I previous allegations. Like, if there were five other allegations and one of them had proof or something, maybe it would be more believable, right? But I haven't seen any others. I strongly suggests that she gets, uh, oh, I don't know, a, a private investigator, for example, collects all the CCTV footage, and then put this all out on the web. And goes to the cops. Or maybe use it in court. I think that's a better option. I feel like a lot of people are willing to write off the seriousness of these allegations because of the background that Meredith has, when in actuality, breaking news, you can be a star and still get Like, yes, you don't have the best line of work. Yeah, I agree. The... Some of the public response to some of this is cancer, but this guy's right. But at the same time, you can still be a victim of sexual 
But there's really two sides to this. Either A, Alex Pereira did not f*** her, and she made this elaborate lie to defame Alex's character and maybe get some money out of it. Or B, Meredith G. Brown's allegation law. against Alex Pereira is proven to be true, and that's that. Either way, as of now, I'm not really- I mean, the third possibility, is it much like Katie Bugs? She's, you know, hypothetically speaking, of course. Third possibility could be that she's somewhat mentally ill, or she doesn't really know what happened, or she thinks it's what it actually wasn't, and she's misconstruing allegations, she's, you know, not telling the story accurately, she's leaving things out. You know, that could be it. You know, unfortunately, we live in a world where Alex Pereira is not going to have to do a YouTuber response to this, because he's a famous UFC fighter, and without any proof, there's no reason to respond whatsoever, so, you know really picking sides given the fact that this is really just an allegation right now there's nothing to suggest that alex Pereira. okay she's literally getting the recognition she wanted okay i just don't know if that dm is real because once again that dm just it seems so convenient if that's real right like i know one person tweeted that out but i don't know that that's real also i'm not assuming that what she's saying is real i'm just not assuming that it's necessarily fake right but i'm not going to make a judgment on alex Pereira with no proof or is guilty nor is there anything to suggest that Alex Pereira is not guilty. So I feel like if Alex Pereira responds, it won't be for a whole while because, again, there's no sufficient evidence backing her claims. At the True. time of making this video, she's only released one photo, and that was the photo with her and Alex Pereira taking a picture. As far as we know, there's nothing to suggest that she was by Alex Pereira. But then again, we're yet to hear alibi statements, we're yet to see CCTV footage, we're yet to see a whole lot of other things that would factor into this case. But I hope you guys learned something from this. Uh, I'm pretty much done with this video. That was a pretty good video. Shout out on the liver MMA. I, I agree. You know, I think he had he had some good takes. He, with, without... Oh, wait, well, I'll subscribe to him even though I don't care about general MMA stuff. But I like the fact that he didn't immediately discredit the person based on her background, being an OnlyFans girl, being a, you know, 304 or whatever. He interpreted the allegations impartially. He, you know, talked about maybe it could be real still, but there's no proof. So, you know, ultimately that looks horrible for her. So, yeah, that's, that's ultimately, that's ultimately all there is to say. No, no, no proof that he did it. Can't condemn him. Can't call him a, you know, if that DM is real from that girl, that's insane. And she definitely lied, but I don't know. I don't know if that DM, I don't know if that DM is real, you know, I don't know if that DM is a real DM. And it just, once again, it just seems like. If somebody can verify that DM is real, I'd like to see that. But once again, it just seems so, it seems too good to be true, you know? Like, how often do you get somebody accusing someone of people question it? It looks like there's no evidence. And then after, they're like, thanks for the OnlyFans promotions, teehee. Like, how often do you get that? It seems so insane. Can you show the DM again? Yeah, hold on. Where is it? I just saw it. Okay, this is it. Does this DM tweeted out by BSD Season Anthony? Here it is. Is this being posted on Instagram and it says bragging about your only fans exposure is crazy we have this dm where this guy says nice fake allegations hope your failed of career produced enough money for defense lawyers she puts a laughing emoji and says the money i'm making from all the exposure to my only fans will pay for them so that's the that's the dm my thing is just like i feel like this like has to be fake because it's so nuts if anyone can verify that it's real i would like to see that but like it's so insane you know like to to, to say something like this is insane it's it's actual insanity you know but i don't know if that's real it could be fake you know that's ultimately uh if that, if that is real, I'd say she's dead to rights. You got her beyond a shadow of a doubt, but I just don't know. I just don't know. So you want me to look at this Alex Pereira thing? Is there any intro you want to give me to this? All right. So some of the basic stuff for people who don't know, this guy is one of the biggest people in the entire UFC right now. Right. Yeah. I mean, he was, he was, he was what, light heavyweight champion? Yeah. So he started out at middleweight. Okay. And he came from this organization called Glory Kickboxing which makes the glory hold joke that much funnier, in my opinion. Um, and he was glory. a champion there at two glory kickboxing. Glory kickboxing. International yeah. combat sports based in the UK. Yeah, biggest kickboxing organization in the world. Okay. So he was a champion there okay. in two different weight classes, widely known as one of the best. He then moves over to MMA, where he beats the middleweight champion and is now two sports a champion. Okay. And then he moves up in yeah. weight from 185 to 205, and he's now a two-weight champion. So I can't pull up this third link you have because there's not safe for work stuff in that. So I can't pull that up. Um, right. But you sent me two other links. So this one says, yep. Jesse allegedly brought this Meredith chick to the UFC event. The night the incident took place, Pierce have uh, unfollowed each other. And Jesse, the friend, has gone private. Now, if Meredith is telling the truth, why would this happen? So basically showing they unfollowed each other. Okay. And this Jesse person made her account private. And this one says, the woman accusing Alex Ferreira of 
has now posted another video of text messages between her and Mel, his translator. Four days after the alleged assault, she says, I've been dissociated ever since I left that hotel. So this is basically, you're saying this like corroborates her timeline of showing like, even before it was made public, she was being consistent that it happened. Or are you just sending me this just so I can see it? Hello? All right, if you're talking, I can't hear you. Let's see this. I'll be in New York City till Sunday morning. Are you there now? Yeah, I uh, closed out Discord by accident. Okay. So uh, what's um, the, what's the, to... what's like your point to sending me this? Right. So what I was saying was, um, basically the first set of things is, well, it's weird that this person who is allegedly the friend, right? Is unfollowing her and set her account to private. Now, in my opinion, that could just be the fans of Alex Pereira because he's one of the biggest stars in the entire organization. Yeah, like maybe she's getting her maybe ass or something. Them. Exactly. So that could be the reason that she unfollowed it. She just wants it to stop because she's a normal person. She has no followers. Like, she was just a fan, right? She wanted to go and train with him. She did. And then the second thing is the DMs. And it literally corroborates every single thing that she said happened. That's the crazy part. Everything she oh. said that he ended about this, oh. this, and then this, everything is in those DMs. So why did she now, why did she think, include this? Exactly. So it comes out so much later that I think uh, some ordinary gamers, Mudahar, has a very good thing he said. He says, if I can't go in there and press refresh myself, I can't exactly trust it, even if it's a video, right? Because all of that can be fake, right? Okay. So it's a little que – ooh, spider. Um, it's a little questionable – if it's real, because it came out so much later, and you know, that's that's the iffy part. But at the same time, she could, she might not have expected it to blow up. She wasn't prepared. She had to go and get these from her friend, right? Because these aren't her DMs; these are her friends, right? Allegedly. Okay, so here we have. So it's a whole. Party. I'm just gonna read through these. So we have um, this person, her friend, I guess, messaging Melvin. Who is this? Who is this Melvin guy again? Melvin is his translator. Oh, okay. I'll be in NYC until Saturday morning. Licky emoji. Then I'll head down to New Jersey. Maybe we can find time on our schedules to meet up. She says, yes, let me know. He says, Chama, what's your number? And when are we going to get into the city? So this is the, the flame or fire comment she was talking about, right? Right. So that was the other thing that I wanted to um, actually talk about. So Chama is basically Alex Pereira's catchphrase. Oh. And there's multiple different meanings. The way he uses it is he posts it all the time. He's got merch of it. And essentially, it just means, are you with me? Let's go. It's like a call to action. It doesn't mean flame in usually when he's using it. Okay. It's usually just saying, are you with me? Let's go. Let's get it. Stuff like that. Okay. So he so, says, what's your number? When are you going to get into the city? So that's this DM. Next, we have this one. Right. Who is this DM between this next one with like highlighted DMs? Here, let me pull that up. Oh, this is, I guess, between her and a friend. It looks like this doesn't look like how a guy would talk. Because this person says, that's yeah, fun, I love that with, for you. So yeah, who are you coming to the fights with? with? My best friend, she went to the last fight with me. That's fun, I love that for you. She's sweet to tag along. She's not a big UFC fan. Yeah, so all of these are from her friend to the translator. Right now, the girl making the allegations has not talked to the translator or Alex. This is literally, her friend is a fan. She reached out. So now her friend is talking to the translator, and she's like, hey, Yeah, I but these second friend. set of DMs are not the translator, though, right? They look like they're to like a... Uh, Look like they're to like a friend of hers because I, I can't imagine her male translator would say that's fun love that for you like you get what I'm See, saying. It doesn't. Yeah, I'm looking at it. it's not clear. Um, I just can't. So, I can't. I can't imagine whoever this. Mel, I can't imagine someone named Melvin saying that unless he's gay. Um, not impossible. I do believe it's the same person though. It's not clarified. She literally posted this. There's no sound. So if it was the same per, but yeah, if I mean, it was the same person, wouldn't she say? It? who it is like it doesn't even show the name of the person here i feel like this could just be her friend this one specifically uh i'm not sure the context in which that would make sense to be honest <laughs> who you come to the fights down. with my best friend she went to the last fight that's fun love that for you she's sweet to tag along she's not a big ufc fan oh. okay why did you i mentioned you to alex when we were getting to the lambo and about how you would be here for the fights and he goes does she have a friend lamau haha tell him i do yes okay so we've got this one. So these are all from our friends to the translator then. Yeah. Right. By the way, I sent you my friend's Insta. Yo, Lamau. So bro's wearing my glasses right now. I showed him. He took his glasses off and said Chama. Okay. So saying let's go basically. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, you know. All right. Going to miss the press. And I'm not going to lie. Her having this kind of, it depressed me because I'm a huge fan of this guy. I've been watching him since Glory. Right. And it it kind of it helps. It, like, it, it, it adds a little more um, weight to at least the initial story she told, right? Yeah. At the very least, they did meet up because at the very end, she posts pictures with him, a different picture of him just looking at her. Right. But that's at the very end, so we'll get there. Sean Strickland was a menace. 
laughing emoji, three crying emojis. What are the chances we see each other tonight? Alex is asking about your friend. What are y'all doing? Please, I know. All right. So next we've got, what are your plans? We're not sure yet. Probably going to get dressed up and find somewhere to eat. And then two emojis says, well, I'm heading into training now. We'll be done in an hour. Let me know if you want to get together later because I'm sure Alex will be down. Okay. You want to come train tomorrow with Alex? Bet. When? I love Dutch. Chama. Chama. Just getting here. When you get here, you can park across the street in the parking lot. Okay, bet. Thanks for inviting us. I enjoyed training with y'all. I'm glad you came. Send the pic of Alex and glasses. Did you get to check All into right, the so hotel? For content. Thanks for inviting us. I enjoyed training. That's the day before the allegations, right? Right. Because I remember there so was like one night and then the next night is where the stuff happened, right? Yep. So June 1st, she shows up, she's training. They have a great time. Allegedly, that's when Alex kind of got weird and tried to kiss her and all that. Right. Okay. Did you check into the hotel? So the next week. I film. I wish there was more. I wish you could just get the full DM conversation because this is just specific cutouts, but okay. Exactly. These are all screenshots. And that's the thing where it's like, I don't know. These could be fake. I filmed the line. Took three minutes. My gosh! You want us to meet us at our? You want to meet us at ours before we go to the fights? Host hotels in Jersey City, though. But if you guys want to come out here to get into the UFC fan experience vibes, that's cool. It's just hot as shit. everything's outside. It ends at fifty three ninety two. Don't know what that's saying. What time are you guys pulling up to the fight? I think it's like the apartment or the room or something. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, he's gonna leave around eight thirty. Because he wants to see one of the guys fight. You all, do you want to grab dinner? Can we meet, we can meet at your hotel. Yeah, of course. I think we're Ubering around. It'll be easier. Honestly, come now. It's like it takes like thirty from Newark because of traffic. All right, next one. Two laughing emojis after an Uber is being shown. Chill. I got you. Is it crazy where you are? Okay, so he's saying he'll like pay for her Uber. I'll order you an Uber. Just yeah. try and get somewhere not where everyone else is, so it's not as crazy to try and find. Okay, we're walking further, but it's sketches. Chill, just like uh, just find like a storefront or something with a name and let me know and I'll order it and share the Uber link with you. Okay, we're in front of whatever this is, the nation National Newark Building, something like that. Okay, so this is Alex Pereira. And, and that's the final DMC sense. This is one of the girls, right? This picture. Yeah, so the picture of the girl with the pink gloves and shin guards is her friend, sparring with Alex Pereira. Okay, so, so at least that, that is, part it is seem to be real. Yes, yeah, so the girl from the other link is definitely her friend. Here's and the second them picture, sitting at the bar. Hotel, yeah. Here they've got drinks. Um, I don't know if you can match the tattoos in that bar, It's definitely red. What'd you say? Yeah, it looked like he's got whatever's in that bottle. So that was the other thing I wanted to talk about is the, oh, he's sober, right? And then you were like, well, you know, he might not be. It's actually a very important part of his story. When he was 20 years old, he was working in a tire shop, not a sporting guy at all. And what he said was, I was an alcoholic, I was depressed, I wasn't doing anything with my life. And eventually, my friend invited me to a kickboxing gym, he started training, and he realized that if he wanted to do this, he couldn't drink and party on it. So he literally, according to this interview um, with, I believe it was Ariel Hawani on the MMAR, someone can fact check that, he said he has not had an alcoholic drink or gotten drunk in, what age is he now, like 35? So since uh, he was 37, I think. Yeah, I mean, the question here is if that's alcohol. Because so you can see it's, you can see there's like soda here, but... Um... Exactly. It looks like whatever's in that bottle, whatever, you know, knockoff Sprite or something. Yeah, or like So that's a big or part of the story. That falls into the question. If he's saying in interviews, I've been sober 17 years, you know, I'm trying to be a, a good role model for the kids and stuff. Well, if he's lying about that, then that calls into question, maybe he could do something like this if he's not even being legit about... You know, well, just because he lies about drinking doesn't. First of all, we don't even know if he drank. Sure, Secondly, just because he lies about drinking doesn't mean he lied about. He hasn't even said anything about it, so we don't exactly. even know. Yeah. You know, just because somebody would relapse an alcohol oh, doesn't one... mean they would a girl. You know, exactly. All right, let's see. But this I did one... see a tweet. Uh, I didn't grab it. So, sorry, I just want to go through the last DM here. Um, yeah. So after that screenshot, it says, "I feel like every morning I wake up, I feel shittier and it's more clear to me they manipulated us and used us and assaulted us." I've been dissociated ever since I left the hotel. Nothing feels real. I knew they knew older women wouldn't put up with that. Shit. So they pre preyed on us low key. I can't tell he's a bigger piece of shit. Mel for pretending to be a safe person for us and acting like a very easy person to open up to, or Alex or telling him to do that and then assaulting something us. I assume assaulting me, assaulting us, and not thinking twice about it. Okay, so these. So, so essentially, Trump she's person. what she's trying to show here is that the DM she sent line up with um the basics and that, of the that story. Comes four days afterwards. Is she still on TikTok or no? Yes, uh, her account is still up. She did private her Instagram or maybe deleted it, and I believe her Twitter is gone as well. Gotcha. I'm not on uh, Instagram really or Snapchat or anything, so I don't know about most of that. Okay, so I did find but where she posted it. Twitter, 
So she po- this is where she posted the DMs. Let's see what people said. You do OnlyFans. Why would you believe anything anyone comes out of your that hole you call a mouth? Okay, dude, this is not. She's right. The, the the comments are, okay. The comments are so. I don't even know if it's real, but the the comments are fucked. Chama Chomo does what he wants. Why don't you show the contact name? That's a real question. That's yep. a good question. I mean, she did show the dates though, so it's not like. They just just because you're an OnlyFans girl doesn't mean you lie about, right? Uh, no, you sell your body for money, therefore you lie. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like sh- off, bro. Also. If you want to believe that, then you must also believe that Alex Ferrari or Goat wanted to f- OnlyFans a girl, so come on. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Yeah, sure. Anyway. He did. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, that's interesting context as added. That definitely adds to her story. When was yeah. this posted? This was posted on... Today uh, at 5.35. Oh, two, uh, two, two hours ago. So when did that video from the guy come out? I assume, because I watched a video about that Let's see here. The allegations, I believe, dropped on the 5th yesterday. I'm just looking for when the video was posted that talked about it on the Liver MMA. Okay, so the video about Alex Ferrer was posted a day ago, 21 hours ago. So these DMs just came out. This is like breaking stuff. That's interesting. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Yeah, actually. Damn. And then I think the other interesting thing is, and I'll I'll let you go if you want to, um, but she said, or her friend said that she's not a huge MMA fan, right? Yeah. But in that tweet that you can't show because of NSFW, She's at a UFC event from March 6th. She's there watching Sean O'Malley, right? And she does what she does in that picture. Um, and so she knew who this guy was, tagged him in the tweet or Snapchat or whatever it was, maybe Instagram. Well, um, just because you, I mean, to be clear, I'm not even trying to defend her. I'm just, you know, analyzing right. each argument on its own. Like, I've it's never been to a UFC content. event. She's I might go to one. Of, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've never been to a UFC event. I might go to one yep. in the future. That doesn't make me a big MMA fan, right? Sure. And just because she added That's Sean O'Malley, enough. like she's an OnlyFans girl trying to get attention on her account by being a hoe from the showing her tits or whatever. Right, right? Like she's least, obviously I mean, gonna at the guy. Yeah, I guess it depends on who is a big fan. But I mean, a big fan, somebody who follows MMA a lot and like knows all the fighters. Like, if you know a few, right. I can name a handful of MMA fighters off the top of my head. I'm not like a big fan. Well, I mean, I would consider myself a big fan. I've never been to an event, so I think there's an interesting kind of thing there, where it's like she's at least been to another event months before. So at the very least, she knows somewhat what's happening, right? I mean, she knows that UFC exists. That doesn't mean that she. Or, like, she's been to an event. Once again, like, UFC events are expensive. She has the money to go. It's, like, a popular thing to do. She can still go and not be a huge yeah. fan, right? Do you think every person who goes to a UFC event is a huge fan? No, obviously not. Uh, they pay a bunch of people to be there, like, celebrities and stuff. That's a well-known fact. I don't think she was paid to be there. All I'm saying is, um... No, no, not and I also, her. I don't necessarily but, think she's know, telling the truth at all. Like, she... Ever. I have seen no evidence Alex Ferreira did anything, you know, at all so i have no i would i would never call yeah. him that but like i feel like some of these arguments but are just kind does of like substantiate some of the stuff she said yes it does it, you know, substanti- it substantiates I mean, if those dms are real it definitely substantiates like um yeah. just the basic timeline for like you know she met up with them uh they hung out they went to training stuff like that right um it, i would like so to see the I'm cctv footage though that's the other thing so in good faith she brings out these dms because she said she would so now we have to wait and see well are is the cctv camera coming Right, because she yes. held up the first part of it, which is the DMs. It just came late. Right. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see if she posts that. If she does post that, and it shows more of what she says, and that's even more stuff in her favor, right? In my opinion. Oh yeah. I mean, in my opinion, if she brings up CCTV and it shows him trying to kiss her or talk to her or whatever, that substantiates a lot, especially about his behavior. It substantiates that he could have broken his sobriety, or it would substantiate that he tried to make a move on her. It wouldn't substantiate the because the happened in a hotel room supposedly right right right. so i don't know about that but i would be super curious to see more you know yeah i don't think it proves the happened but at the very least it does prove that his behavior to some degree ultimately yeah ultimately ultimately like the only people that really know what happened in that room are alex the two girls and then uh what's this other person The, the translator yeah and the only people who know what happened during the if that happened would be the girl and Alex, right? Right, because he kicked the other two out. Yeah. yeah. Dipey check, it's full. All right, well, thanks calling in, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's depressing, to me at least. I'm yeah. a huge fan of him. Well, I guess we'll see what happens, you know?
ultimately uh, innocent until yep. proven guilty. But yeah. All right. Well, big fan. Thanks for having me on. Well, so wait, do you know anything about that DM that that was supposedly from her where she was like bragging about the publicity she got? Is that real? Is that fake? Is that post anywhere? So um, I haven't looked into it specifically. I've literally just been browsing Alex Pereira on Twitter. But everyone is saying it's real, but I've seen no actual evidence of it. She hasn't commented on it. No one has. It's just a bunch of, you know, guys on Twitter saying, uh, OnlyFans whore, she she did it for clout. Right. It's like, there, hey, there's way easier ways to get clout. You know, I mean, yeah. we've all seen all the stuff they pull. Right. <laughs> this is not how I would try and grow my subscription base. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, I agree. I have no reason to believe that one's real. But then again, I bet it, it just it just seems too good to be true. It could be real, but it just seems like way too good to be true, right? That was my first thought when I saw that. I was like, this seems like something these guys would fake. Just. You know, just to denigrate her more. I mean, you see what they're saying. Yeah, it's not crazy uh, that they would. The thing is, a lot of the a lot of the audience already wants her to be a liar. Or even if, even if even if she didn't lie, they're like, well, he's still my goat, right? That's not all the audience, exactly. but that's just like schizos on TikTok, you know. Well, think about it this way: um, the current UFC fan base is a lot of fans of like the Nelk Boys, the people who are collaborating with Dana White and Trump and Aiden Ross. All these people have been to UFC events; they live streamed it. So there's a lot of kids in that audience who just don't think about anything. They see something on Twitter, they assume it's real, so they go and they attack her, and they see these, like, listen, I'm all for funny jokes, you know, the racism, all that. I think it's funny. Stuff like that, it's just not funny. Like, it's just cruel. It's really cruel. To I mean, I think, I think, I think jokes funny. can be funny, but I don't think you should be going up to a victim, of, to a Wait, potential crazy. victim of being like, you deserved it. Like, that's insane. Yeah, just saying that is like, that's just messed up. There's no humor in it. True. Um. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot. Yeah, I'll keep track of it. Um, is it cool if I DM you if stuff pops up? Go ahead, yeah. I'll uh, I'll follow it. All right. Thanks for calling in, buddy. Take it easy. You too. All right. Really hope he isn't a sicko. Yeah, and I also hope there's no victim. Uh, I mean, as of yet, he's innocent as far as I've seen. You know, innocence will prove him guilty. That's what I would say.